Congressman, a Republican from Florida. Congressman, thanks for joining us. What do you want to hear from President Obama today? I want to hear him take responsibility and say that they're going to restore accountability and transparency within the in the department. And what we're finding now is every rock that we turn over, uh, we are finding that there is a problem. Just 30 minutes ago, I finally got confirmation from the central office that the Phoenix director received an $8,500 bonus last month while there was an open IG uh, investigation into Phoenix, and they are trying to say that it was a low-level person made an administrative error that resulted in the payment to the director. Uh, this, this has got to stop. What are the biggest problems? How does one solve the problem that the, that the VA uh, poses right now. Obviously, these are systemic problems. There are, as I'm sure you've said before and I've said earlier today, hundreds of thousands of employees of the Veterans Administration hospitals, more than 300,000. Most of them assuredly are, are, are good people doing the best work they can for not great wages. Um, what is the problem? How would you attack it? The most important thing is for the department to be able to use the very things uh, that Congress has provided them, and that is the authority to go outside the system to provide the health care for the veterans when they need it and where they need it. Uh, they will not use fee basis care in a timely fashion, and unfortunately it's causing harm to the veteran community. The, the Phoenix Hospital says that they feed out $8 million worth of care last year for the veterans in that area, and that's a good thing. But they look at it as a bad thing because they say that they took an $8 million hit to their budget instead of saying we provided $8 million worth of care for the veterans. When the new policy was instituted last year, sir, uh, to make it so any new veteran seeking medical care uh, would have to get an appointment within 14 days, there were people sounding the alarm at the time saying the VA system is not prepared and they cannot meet that requirement. And now we hear stories of these uh, fake lists so that uh, the fact that people could not get health care within the 14 days uh, was hidden uh, from the VA, from the federal government. Was it a mistake for them to institute that new policy? I think it probably was. Look, if you set the, the metric that you have to meet, folks are going to find a way to manipulate the numbers to make their numbers look good. Nothing wrong with saying we can't do it in 14 days. We have to have 21 days. I think people want to be told the truth, not lied to, as they have been over and over again. We're finding it now in hospitals all across the country, uh, and it's just not acceptable to the veterans that they're supposed to serve. Congressman, I noticed you, you said we're getting the two-minute warning there for anybody wondering why somebody's putting up bunny ears on the camera. We're getting the two-minute warning for President Obama to come out and address this VA scandal. Congressman, I noticed when I asked you what you wanted President Obama to say, uh, you said you wanted him to take responsibility and to, and to institute accountability. You did not call for the resignation of General Shinseki. Why not? I have always said that we need to wait till we have the final product as far as the investigation into Phoenix. But this problem is more than just Secretary Shinseki. And once Secretary Shinseki leaves, you take away uh, the situation that has applied the pressure to the department. You give somebody then a six or year long grace period in order to try to get things fixed. And the secretary needs to, if he's mad as hell, he needs to show it. So you, in other words, you think keeping him on board uh, might actually be the best thing in this situation because now he has something uh, to prove uh, and he doesn't, of course, he's been there for six years, he doesn't have to learn his way around the neighborhood. Now, what I'm saying is that, that I don't believe the problem is totally the secretary. Uh, mm -hmm. I do know that they're ensconced in the central office. They will not deliver him the bad news that he needs in order to make an appropriate decision. Uh, it's much deeper uh, than the secretary, but I have always said, let's wait until the investigation comes out and we know exactly what happened in Phoenix. We're having to get it drips and drabs, uh, and they, they really need to be transparent and get ahead of this thing, and they're way behind the curve and it's harmed veterans. How has your committee found getting information from the VA when you've sought information about whether it's the situation in Phoenix or the outbreak of Legionnaire's disease uh, at the Pittsburgh? Oh, I'm sorry, here's President Obama right now. Let's take it live. Good morning, everybody. I just met with Secretary